And tonight with a story you'll only see on 11 Alive. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. The wife of a reported cult leader wants to tell her side of the story. Alicia Bishop, also known as Nature Boy, remains behind bars tonight, facing charges that include rape. 11 Alive's Paula Soro just finished speaking with his wife, and she joins us live at the DeKalb County Jail, where Bishop is tonight. Paula? Yeah, Jennifer, you know, after three years of knowing each other, Velvet, Velvet Marquez tells me Eligio Bishop forced her to marry him. Why? She says that he'd tell her that she'd then be forced to bail him out of jail if anything were to happen to him. And of course, today, something quite opposite is happening. She's telling us her side of the story. I feel that now looking back, I feel that I fell in love with an idea because he pretended to be someone that he wasn't. Behind this smiling face, Velvet Marquez faced her hardest years next to Eligio Bishop. He literally held me hostage. He took all of my identification, my passport, my, my uh, birth certificate, my social, my bank cards, everything, you name it, medical documentations. She says Bishop, the leader of the so-called cult, Carbon Nation, went from spoiling her to abusing her when she got pregnant. I was forced to engage in sexual activity that I did not want to do. I was beat, still strangled on multiple occasions. So I had to like uh, willingly engage in these sexual activities because of to, to keep myself safe. He would abuse me in front of the women. She had their daughter in 2019 and a year and a half later, she says he forced her to legally marry him in a Las Vegas chapel. There was no medical attention given to us. So when I actually went into labor, I had to be rushed to the hospital two hours away. For years, the cult would drive and settle across Central America. Velvet says Bishop lived off of other members, PPP loans and life savings. She gave him her $3,000 college fund while others gave tens of thousands of dollars and after four tries she successfully ran away with her daughter with no money but hope my child is important i don't understand how anybody could leave their child to be with him or to go live with him now velvet tells me she has since received death threats from eligio and that he even showed up to her family's home in louisiana just months after she ran away jennifer paula do we know does she ever try reaching out to law enforcement she tells me she did, but it was very hard to track him down because he moves so often running away from law enforcement. But of, of course, now he is behind bars. Now, we also did speak to a former cult member, and we have her side of the story as well on 11alive.com. Jennifer. All right, Paula, very involved story here. Thank you so much. Now, we have been following the story closely since uh, Legio Bishop's arrest. We have much more on the group that he's leading on our website, 11alive.com.